3 minutes. 3 minutes is all you need to completely transform your life, once and for all. If you listen to everything God has sent me to tell you today, your life can change forever. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine what has been worrying you, what has been keeping you up at night. Imagine it being transformed, your bank account balance increasing more and more, without you even understanding where so much money is coming from. Imagine your life being completely restored, the end of your worries. This is exactly what God wants for you. But for that to happen, you need to listen until the end. Otherwise, you could miss this secret blessing. Don't tell this to anyone, and at the end, I will pray with you so that all the graces and blessings that our Lord has for you will be realized. Every time you hear the word receive, or feel that something was directed at you, comment I receive my Father, so that you can secure the blessings of the Almighty. God is the God of miracles. This is a truth that transcends history, from the beginning of time until today. The Bible is full of examples of this. God parted the Red Sea so that the people of Israel could escape from their enemies. He healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, made the paralyzed walk, and even raised the dead. This is not a fictional story, it is real. God continues to perform miracles today. Maybe you are going through a difficult time now, and your faith is shaken. Maybe you look at your life and wonder, does God still perform miracles? Do I matter to him? Yes, you do matter, and he wants to work a miracle in your life. But for that to happen, you need to believe, believe with all your heart and soul. Feel this truth invading every part of your being. Let that faith take hold of you because it is faith that moves mountains. Life sometimes feels like a roller coaster, doesn't it? There are moments when we are on top, living days that seem perfect. Everything goes well, things flow, we feel on top of the world. But there are also those moments when we are down, facing unimaginable difficulties. These are moments of falling, of pain, of struggle. And it is in those moments that our faith is most tested. Even in those moments of falling, of darkness, God is there. He does not abandon you, he does not turn his back on you. On the contrary, it is precisely in those moments that he acts more powerfully. Because it is in difficulties that miracles happen, and when you least expect it, when everything seems lost, God comes up with a solution, with a way out, with a miracle. I know it's hard to believe this when we're in the middle of the storm, when the winds are strong, when the waves threaten to devour us. But that is when we need to trust God more. He never promised that we wouldn't face difficulties, but he did promise to be with us in each one of them. And more than that, he promised that if we have faith, if we believe, the victory will be ours. To help you, we have created a tool capable of attracting prosperity and abundance to all who use it. This tool has already helped 10,979 people and is capable of restoring your finances. The tool I'm talking about is our new devotional book called God Says This to You Today. If you are here now, listening to this, it's a sign that this is your moment to act. Click now on the link in the pinned comment and unlock the portal to your financial freedom with an exclusive limited time price. This is the sign you've been waiting for. Embrace your prosperous future now. In the next two minutes, you will receive a great revelation. So pay close attention and don't get distracted. God wants to speak directly to you. We live in a constant race, don't we? It feels like time is getting shorter and shorter, and responsibilities just keep piling up. There's work, family, bills to pay, commitment after commitment. Sometimes we feel like we're racing against time, trying to do everything, and in the end, it feels like there's nothing left for ourselves. Have you ever felt that way? That feeling that the day would need to have about 30 hours for everything to fit in? But in this race, we end up forgetting something fundamental. We forget to stop, to breathe, and to remember God. In the midst of so much noise, so much haste, God is there, patiently waiting for us to take a moment for Him. And it is precisely at this point that many things in our lives begin to misalign. God doesn't want us to live like this, in this madness, in this constant stress. He wants us to live in peace, with joy, with purpose. But how can we achieve this if we don't even stop to talk to Him, if we don't take a moment to pray, to listen to His voice, to seek His guidance? In this rush, we lose focus on what really matters. We get carried away by the problems, by the pressures of everyday life, and we forget that God is there, willing to help us, to guide us. He is there, wanting to lighten our load. But we insist on carrying everything alone. When you put God first, everything else begins to fall into place. Something that helped me a lot during this process was learning to be grateful for what I already had, even if it was little. 
Sometimes we focus so much on what we lack, on what we want to achieve, that we forget to be thankful for what we already have. And it was only when I began to be grateful for the little things, for the blessings that God had already placed in my life, that I began to see things differently. I began to realize that even in the crisis, God was taking care of me, that I had a roof over my head, food on the table, health. And as I gave thanks, my heart filled with a peace that went beyond circumstances. I learned that when we focus on what we already have, instead of what is missing, we make room for God to act, for Him to multiply what He has already given us. So if you feel overwhelmed today, I invite you to do what I did, stop, breathe, and give everything into God's hands. Be thankful for what you already have, even if it seems little. Trust that God will supply all your needs and that He has a perfect plan for your life. Gratitude has this power. It brings us closer to God, helps us see beyond the problems, and gives us the strength to keep going. When we are grateful, the peace of God invades our hearts, and anxiety goes away. Receive this grace today. I want to challenge you to do a gratitude exercise. Take a moment right now and start thanking God. Thank Him for the big and small things. Thank Him for life, for health, for family, for friends, for work, for food, for your home. Thank Him for the opportunities, for the challenges, for the lessons you have learned. Now, let me talk to you about the prosperity that God has for you. Prosperity is a word we often associate only with money, but it goes far beyond that. Of course, money is important, it is part of life and helps solve many things, but the prosperity that God offers is much more complete. It is a prosperity that touches all areas of your life, not just the financial one. God wants you to prosper in your work, in your relationships, in your health, in your spirit. He wants to see you grow advance, reach new levels in all these areas. And believe me, this is not something reserved only for a few people. It is for all those who love God, who follow His ways, who trust in His promises. But for that to happen, you need to understand that God's prosperity is linked to how you face challenges. Each challenge is a disguised opportunity. The way you react to problems, how you handle difficulties, can determine how much you will prosper. Challenges are not always easy. But true prosperity comes when we learn to face them with faith, with courage, with a certainty that God is in control. And when we do that, we begin to see things differently. We stop seeing problems as enemies and start seeing them as steps, as steps that bring us closer to the blessing that God has for us. When you think about your life now, are you satisfied with where you are? Have you ever wondered if there is something more waiting for you, something bigger, something you haven't discovered yet? Many times, we settle into a routine, convinced that the life we are living is all we can have. But what if I told you that God has something much greater reserved for you, something that goes beyond your most ambitious dreams? Think for a moment about the areas of your life where you feel something is missing. It could be in your work, in your relationships, in your health, or even in your spirituality. Do you feel like you could be in a better place, but something always seems to hold you back? Often, this feeling of stagnation comes from a lack of connection with the purpose that God has for us. When we are not aligned with this purpose, life can feel heavy, discouraging, and directionless. Now imagine what it would be like if you could align every aspect of your life with the plan that God has for you. Imagine waking up every morning with a sense of clarity, knowing that you are on the right path, that you are following a greater plan. Wouldn't it be amazing to live a life full of purpose, where every step you take brings you closer to reaching the full potential that God has placed within you? God wants you to prosper in all areas of your life, but for that to happen, you need to be willing to step out of your comfort zone. This may mean making difficult decisions, making changes you have been avoiding, or even letting go of things that no longer serve you. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to trust that by surrendering your life to God, He will guide you to a path of success and happiness that you may never have imagined? I know these changes can seem scary, but I want you to think about what's at stake. Do you want to continue living the same life you've been living, with the same struggles and frustrations, or are you ready to experience something new, something better? God is calling you to a higher level, but you need to be willing to take the first step. And that step begins with faith. Have you ever stopped to think about what faith really means? Faith is not just believing in something you cannot see, it is trusting that, regardless of the circumstances, God is in control. It is believing that even when everything around you seems to be falling apart, God is working on something great for you. But that faith needs to be active. You need to act according to your faith, and that means making decisions based on the trust that God knows what is best for you. What decisions have you been putting off because you're afraid of what might happen? Maybe it's a new job, a new relationship, 
or even a fresh start in some area of your life. What's holding you back? Is it the fear of the unknown? The insecurity about what others might think? God is calling you to break free from those chains. He wants you to live a life where your choices are guided by faith, not by fear. Think about the last time you made a decision based on faith. How did you feel? It might have been scary at first, but didn't you feel a sense of relief in trusting God? Now, imagine if all your decisions were made with that same trust. Imagine the peace you would feel knowing that no matter what happens, you are doing what is right because you are following God's will. God has a unique purpose for each of us, and discovering that purpose can be the key to true happiness. But how can you discover that purpose if you never stop to ask God what He wants for your life? Have you ever sat in silence and simply asked God, Lord, what is your plan for me? What do you want me to do? Many times, we are so busy trying to control everything around us that we forget to stop and listen to what God has to say. And when you hear God's voice, are you willing to obey? Obedience is one of the most important aspects of faith. It is not enough just to hear what God wants. You need to be willing to follow the path He shows you, even if it is difficult, even if you don't fully understand. Remember, God sees the big picture, while we only see a small part. He knows what is best for us, and obeying Him is the path to true prosperity. Now I want you to think about all the areas of your life that could be transformed if you simply put God at the center of them. What would change? Perhaps you would begin to see solutions to problems that once seemed impossible. Maybe your relationships would become stronger, healthier. Maybe you would finally find the peace you have been searching for so long. But this transformation does not happen overnight. It is a process, and each step you take in this process brings you closer to a full and fulfilled life. Are you ready to begin this journey? Are you ready to surrender everything to God and trust that He will take you where you need to be? I know it can be difficult to take that first step, but remember, every great change begins with a decision. And that decision is in your hands. Let's talk about the power of prayer. Prayer is our direct line to God. It is through prayer that we communicate our hopes, our fears, our desires. But prayer is also an opportunity to listen to what God has to say to us. Do you pray regularly? Have you allowed yourself to hear God's voice amidst the noise of everyday life? If not, I challenge you to start today. Set aside a few minutes of your day to talk to God, to give your concerns to Him, and to listen to what He has to say to you. And when you pray, pray with faith. Pray believing that God is listening and that He will answer. But also be prepared to accept His answer, even if it's not what you expected. Remember, God knows what is best for us, and sometimes the answer He gives us is different from what we imagined, but it is always for our good. The prosperity that God offers is not just material. It is spiritual, emotional, and relational. God wants you to prosper in all areas of your life, but you need to be willing to follow the path He shows you. And that path begins with faith, obedience, and prayer. So, I ask you, are you ready to live the life that God has planned for you? Are you willing to give your worries to Him and trust that He will guide you to prosperity in all areas of your life? If the answer is yes, then what's stopping you from starting now? What's stopping you from taking the first step toward the life you've always wanted? Remember, God is by your side, waiting to guide you, bless you, and help you reach all the potential He has placed within you. But the decision is yours. Are you ready to make that choice? Are you ready to live a life full of purpose, joy, and peace? I believe you are. And God believes so too. He is waiting for you, ready to take you to places you never imagined. Now it's your turn. Make the decision to trust God, to follow the path He has for you, and to live the life of prosperity He offers. The journey may not be easy, but the reward is great. And remember, you are never alone. God is with you every step of the way, ready to guide you, protect you, and bless you. So what will you do? Will you continue living the life you have now, or will you take the first step toward the life that God has for you? The choice is yours. And I believe you will make the right choice. Keep reflecting on these words, pray, and ask God to guide you in the right direction. And remember, He is always ready to listen, guide, and bless you. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to live lives full of purpose and success while others struggle constantly without ever achieving what they desire? What do these successful people have in common? Do they know something you don't? Is there a secret, a principle they follow that leads them to achieve their goals? The answer may be simpler than you think. The difference lies in how these people approach life and most importantly, how they trust God to guide their steps. 
Have you ever stopped to think about how you have been living your life? Are you trusting God enough, or are you trying to do everything on your own, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders? Many times, we find ourselves trapped in cycles of worry, anxiety, and fear. We try to control everything around us, believing that if we do, we can avoid suffering and achieve happiness. But is that the best way to live? Does absolute control lead us to the peace we so desire, or does it only take us further away from what really matters? Think about it, what do you really want for your life? What is your greatest dream? Perhaps it is to achieve professional success, to find true love, or simply to live a life of peace and tranquility. But regardless of what you desire, one thing is certain, God also wants the best for you. And He has a plan, a path that, if followed, can lead you to achieve all your dreams. But how can you know what God's plan is for you? How can you be sure that you are on the right path? The answer lies in your faith. Faith is trusting that God is in control, even when things seem out of control. Faith is believing that, regardless of what you are facing, God is by your side, guiding every step of your way. Have you ever stopped to reflect on the strength that faith can bring to your life? Imagine facing difficulties knowing that you are not alone, that God is with you, strengthening and guiding you. How would your life be if, instead of worrying about what might go wrong, you fully trusted that God is in control and that everything will work out in the end? Many times, we allow fear to dominate our thoughts and actions. We become paralyzed by the fear of failure, of judgment, of the unknown. But what would happen if, instead of letting fear control us, we gave it to God and asked Him to give us courage? Have you ever tried to do that? Have you ever tried to trust God enough to set aside fear and move forward with courage and determination? Imagine what you could achieve if there were no fear holding you back. Imagine the opportunities you could seize, the dreams you could realize. God did not create us to live in fear. He created us to live with courage, to face life's challenges with confidence, knowing that He is by our side. And when you face those challenges, how do you react? Do you give in to despair, or do you turn to God and ask Him to guide you? Remember, every challenge is an opportunity to grow, to learn, to draw closer to God. When you face a challenge with faith, you are telling God that you trust Him, that you believe He will help you overcome any obstacle. But faith is not something we can just talk about, it is something we need to live. How have you been living your faith? Have you been showing God that you trust Him through your actions, your decisions? Or have you allowed fear and doubt to control your life? If you feel that your faith needs to be strengthened, don't worry. God is always ready to help us strengthen our faith, we just need to seek Him. Now, I want you to think about something. When was the last time you dedicated yourself to seeking God with all your heart? When was the last time you stopped everything you were doing just to listen to what God has to say to you? If it's been a while since that happened, maybe it's time to reconnect with Him on a deeper level. Maybe it's time to renew your faith, to seek God's guidance in every aspect of your life. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have such a strong connection with God while others struggle to feel His presence in their lives? Is it because God chooses some people to connect with and ignores others? Of course not. God is always present, always ready to connect with each of us. But sometimes it is we who move away from Him, who get distracted by the worries and pressures of life and forget to seek that connection. But the good news is that it's never too late to reconnect with God. It's never too late to open your heart and let Him in and transform your life. And when you do that, when you truly surrender to God, something incredible happens. You begin to see life in a completely different way. The things that once seemed so important begin to lose weight, and you start to realize what really matters. What really matters to you? Is it success, money, recognition? Or is it peace, joy, inner satisfaction? Many times, we are so focused on achieving external things that we forget to seek what truly brings us happiness and peace. God wants you to have success, yes, but He also wants you to have peace. He wants you to find joy in the small things, to live a full life, where your success is just a consequence of your faith and trust in Him. Now, think about how your life would be if you started living that way. Imagine waking up every day with a clear purpose, knowing that God is guiding you, that He is in control, and that everything that happens in your life is part of a bigger plan. How would that change the way you face challenges? How would that change the way you make decisions? Maybe you are wondering, how can I start living that way? How can I fully surrender to God and trust that He will guide my life? The answer is simple, start where you are. Don't wait for a perfect moment, for an ideal circumstance. Start now with what you have. 
Start trusting God in the small things, in the daily decisions. Start praying more, seeking His guidance in everything you do. And when you start doing that, you will see that God is always by your side, guiding, protecting, and leading you to where you need to be. You will begin to realize that even in difficult times, God is working something good for you. And that realization will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that will allow you to face any challenge with courage and confidence. Have you ever experienced that peace before? If not, I encourage you to seek that experience. Seek God with all your heart, give your worries to Him, and see how He begins to transform your life. And not just your external life, but your inner life as well. God wants to transform your heart, He wants to give you a new sense of purpose, a new perspective on life. Sometimes we think we need to make big changes to see big results. But God shows us that often it is the small changes, the small steps of faith, that lead us to great transformations. Think about it, what is the small step of faith you can take today? What can you do now to start living the life that God has for you? Maybe it's something simple, like dedicating more time to prayer, or maybe it's something bigger, like making a decision you've been putting off out of fear. Whatever it is, trust that God will be with you every step of the way. And remember, God never gives us a challenge that we cannot overcome. With Him by our side, we can face anything. And when you start seeing the results of that faith, when you start seeing how God is working in your life, you will realize that all He asks in return is that we trust Him. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to trust that God knows what is best for you, even when things don't make sense? Because in the end, true prosperity, true happiness, comes from trusting God, from the peace that only He can give us. Now, let's think a little about the relationships in your life. How is your relationship with the people around you? Do you feel that these relationships are healthy, that they help you grow and draw closer to God? Or do you feel that something is missing, that these relationships could be better stronger? God created us to live in community, to support one another. But many times, we allow small differences, misunderstandings, or even pride to come between us and the people we love. Is there someone in your life with whom you need to reconcile? Someone you need to forgive or ask for forgiveness? Forgiveness is one of the most powerful things we can give and receive. It frees us, allows us to move forward, and draws us closer to God. Jesus taught us the importance of forgiveness, and He showed us that when we forgive, we are following God's example, who forgives us unconditionally. Is there someone in your life who needs your forgiveness? Or maybe someone you need to forgive? Now, think about how your life would be different if you started to forgive more, to love more, to connect more deeply with the people around you. God calls us to live in love, to support one another, and to build relationships that strengthen us and draw us closer to Him. Are you living that kind of life? Or do you feel that you could do more to cultivate those relationships? Maybe you need to take the initiative, take the first step. Maybe you need to set aside pride and reach out to someone who needs your love, your support. God calls us to be light in people's lives, to be examples of His love and grace. How can you be that light in someone's life today? Remember, God blesses us so that we can bless others. When you live your life with that mentality, when you seek ways to be a blessing in others' lives, God begins to open doors and take you to places you never imagined. How can you be a blessing in someone's life today? Who needs a word of encouragement, a gesture of love? And don't think you have to do something grand. Often, it's the little things that make the biggest difference. A smile, a kind word, a simple I'm here for you. These small actions can have a huge impact on someone's life. And when you do that, you're not just helping someone else, but you're also allowing God to work through you. So what will you do today? How will you allow God to work through you to bless others? How will you use the blessings God has given you to make a difference in someone's life? Remember, true prosperity is not just about what we have, but about what we do with what we have. God has given you unique gifts and talents. He has given you opportunities and resources that can be used to do good, to spread His love and grace. How are you using those gifts? Are you making the most of what God has given you, or are you letting those talents lie dormant, waiting for a better moment to use them? If you feel that you're not using your full potential, that there's more you could be doing, don't worry. God never gives us more than we can handle, and He always gives us new opportunities to start again. Today could be the day you decide to use your gifts to make a difference, to live the full and prosperous life that God has for you. And remember, you don't have to do it alone. God is with you every step of the way, guiding, strengthening, and opening doors. 
All he asks is that you trust him, that you give your fears, your doubts, and follow the path he has for you. So what will your next step be? What will you do today to draw closer to God, to live the life he has for you? I believe you are ready to make that change, to live a life full of purpose, joy, and peace. And God believes so too. Keep seeking, keep praying, and keep trusting that God has the best for you. He is always by your side, ready to guide and bless you. And remember with God, all things are possible. Let's dive deeper into the idea of faith and trust in God. Have you ever wondered why faith is so powerful? Faith is not just a feeling, it's a force that moves mountains, a force that changes lives. When we truly believe, when we trust in God with all our hearts, we open the door to miracles. But how do we cultivate this kind of faith? How do we strengthen it so that it becomes an unshakable foundation in our lives? One way to build stronger faith is through gratitude. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. It reminds us of God's goodness and faithfulness. When we take time to thank God for the blessings in our lives, we begin to see just how much He's already done for us. And this recognition fuels our faith, helping us to trust Him even more. What are you grateful for today? Have you taken a moment to thank God for those things? Another way to strengthen our faith is by remembering God's promises. The Bible is filled with promises that God has made to His people, promises of protection, provision, guidance, and love. Do you have a favorite promise from God's Word that you hold on to? How often do you remind yourself of these promises? When you're faced with challenges, do you recall God's promises and let them encourage you? It's easy to get discouraged when life doesn't go as planned. But that's when we need to cling to God's promises the most. He has promised never to leave us, to be our strength in times of weakness, and to give us peace that surpasses all understanding. How would your life change if you fully trusted in these promises, if you believed with all your heart that God is always working for your good? Perhaps you're going through a season where it feels like nothing is going right. Maybe you've been praying for something, and the answer hasn't come. In times like these, it's easy to doubt, to wonder if God has forgotten about you. But let me reassure you, God has not forgotten. He hears every prayer, He sees every tear, and He knows every struggle. Sometimes the answer takes time, not because God is unwilling, but because He is preparing something far greater than you can imagine. Think about the story of Joseph in the Bible. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused, and imprisoned for years. It seemed like everything in his life was going wrong. But throughout all his trials, Joseph held on to his faith in God. And in the end, God raised him up to a position of power, and he became the one who saved his family during a time of famine. What would have happened if Joseph had given up on God? If he had lost his faith? The truth is, God's timing is perfect. He sees the bigger picture, and he knows what is best for us, even when we can't see it ourselves. Are you willing to trust God's timing, even when it doesn't align with your own? Are you willing to wait on him, believing that he is working behind the scenes to bring about the best outcome for your life? Waiting on God can be challenging, especially in a world that values instant results. But it's in the waiting that our faith is tested and strengthened. It's in the waiting that we learn to rely on God more deeply. What are you waiting on God for today? And how can you use this time of waiting to grow closer to Him? Another aspect of faith is action. Faith without works is dead, as the Bible tells us. It's not enough to believe in God's promises, we must also act on them. What steps of faith are you taking in your life? Are you living in a way that reflects your trust in God? Or are there areas where you need to take more decisive action, stepping out in faith even when the path ahead is uncertain? Consider the story of Peter walking on water. When Jesus called Peter to step out of the boat, Peter didn't hesitate. He took that step of faith, trusting that Jesus would keep him safe. And for a moment, Peter walked on water. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the wind and waves, he began to sink. How often do we do the same thing? We start with good intentions, full of faith, but then we get distracted by the challenges around us, and our faith wavers. What are the winds and waves in your life that are distracting you from trusting in God? How can you refocus your attention on Him, keeping your eyes fixed on Jesus, no matter what storms come your way? It's important to remember that even when we falter, God is there to catch us, just as Jesus reached out to save Peter. Our faith may not always be perfect, but God's love and grace are. He understands our weaknesses and is always ready to strengthen us when we turn to Him. 
So don't be discouraged if you find yourself struggling with doubt or fear. Instead, use those moments as opportunities to draw closer to God, to deepen your faith, and to experience His power in your life. Let's also talk about the power of community in building our faith. God didn't design us to walk this journey alone. He created us to be part of a community, to support and encourage one another. Who are the people in your life who help you grow in your faith? Do you have a community that you can turn to in times of need, people who will pray for you, uplift you, and remind you of God's promises? If you don't have such a community, I encourage you to seek one out. Whether it's a church group, a Bible study, or just a few close friends who share your faith, having a support system is crucial. When we come together with others who believe, our faith is strengthened. We are reminded that we are not alone, that others are walking the same path and facing similar challenges. And together, we can encourage each other to keep going, to keep trusting in God. Who can you reach out to today to build that sense of community? Is there someone you know who could use your support, your prayers, your encouragement? Sometimes, being there for someone else not only helps them, but it also strengthens your own faith. How can you be a blessing to someone in your community today? Let's not forget the importance of prayer in maintaining a strong faith. Prayer is our direct line to God, our way of communicating with Him and deepening our relationship with Him. How is your prayer life? Do you take time each day to talk with God, to pour out your heart to Him, and to listen to what He has to say? Prayer is not just about asking God for things. It's about building a relationship with Him. It's about spending time in His presence, allowing Him to shape your heart and your mind. When we pray, we align our will with God's will, and we open ourselves up to His guidance and His blessings. What are you praying for today? And how can you deepen your prayer life to make it more meaningful, more impactful? Remember that prayer is also a way to thank God for what He has already done. Gratitude should be a central part of our prayers, as it helps us recognize God's hand in our lives and strengthens our faith. What can you thank God for today? How has He blessed you, even in the small things? As we continue on this journey of faith, it's important to stay connected to God's Word. The Bible is our guidebook for life, filled with wisdom, encouragement, and truth. Are you spending time in God's Word each day? Are you allowing it to shape your thoughts, your actions, your decisions? The more we immerse ourselves in the Scriptures, the more we will understand God's character, His promises, and His will for our lives. How can you make the Bible a more integral part of your daily routine? Maybe it's reading a chapter each morning or memorizing a verse each week. Whatever it is, make it a priority, because God's Word is the foundation of our faith. In closing, I want to remind you that God's love for you is unchanging and unconditional. No matter where you are on your journey of faith, He is with you. He is for you and He is ready to guide you, strengthen you, and bless you in ways you cannot even imagine. Are you ready to trust Him with your whole heart? Are you ready to take that next step of faith, knowing that God is by your side? As you move forward, keep your eyes on Jesus. Let your faith be your guide, and remember that with God, all things are possible. You are not alone in this journey. God is with you, and He will never let you go. Trust in His promises, act on your faith, and watch as God does incredible things in your life.